Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Facebook ad series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll show you how to install Facebook Base Pixel using Google Tag Manager. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we need to create a tag manager account you know because tag manager is a third party tool and we need to make a connection between our website and google tag manager so let's create a new google tag manager account so for creating google tag manager account i'm going to write gtm on google or you can uh, enter the url called tag manager.google.com you know so just wait a little bit Then I'll click on create account. Then I'm going to name the tag manager account as per my website name. You can see over here, e-commerce analytical growth. So I'm going to name it as e-commerce analytical growth. Perfect. Then you can choose your country. Like I'm choosing my country, which is Bangladesh okay perfect then i'm gonna enable this check mark and uh you you need to set up a container so i'm gonna name the container as e-commerce analytical group and i'm gonna write web okay perfect then i'm gonna choose <clears throat> web from here okay i'll click on create then if you want you can read this in instructions you know so i'm gonna click on this check mark and i'm gonna click on yes okay just wait a little bit so you can see our tag manager account has been created so i need to uh put this header code and body code in my website backend in order to make a connection between tag manager and my website so for going to the admin panel as this is a wordpress cms so i need to put my website url over here then i'm gonna write slash wp minus admin okay then i'll be uh, using a plugin for installing google tag manager so i'll go to the plugin section and i'll click on add new I'm going to search for insert header footer. Okay. So this one, you can use this one or this one. So I'll click on this one, install now. And I'm going to click on activate. Okay. Then if I scroll down a little bit, then you have an option called code snippet so inside code snippet we have an option called header and footer so i'm going to click on it so you need to put the header code and body code over here so i'll go to the google tag manager and copy the header code from here and paste it in the header section and i'll go to the tag manager again and copy the body code and paste it in the body section okay perfect so i'm going to click on save changes okay so let's see whether tag manager has been uh, installed on our website or not so for checking it i'll take the help of an extension called tag assistant legacy okay so i'm going to click on enable and i'll refresh the page again So you can see over here, Google Tag Manager has been installed and its last two digit is K8. So I'm going to go to the Tag Manager and see the last two digit is K8. Okay, perfect. Then I'll click on Submit. Okay, and click on Publish. Let's wait a little bit. It is publishing. So I'll go to the workspace because I need to 
install Facebook base pixel. So you can use custom HTML or if you want, you can use plugin. Okay. So I'll, uh, I'll show you the both options. Like if I want to try it using custom HTML, then I need to click on new. Then I'm going to write Facebook base pixel. Okay. Custom HTML. Okay. So in the tag configuration section, I'm going to click on custom HTML. Then I'll go to the business manager and I'll click on open events manager. Just wait a little bit. This one, I'm going to choose this one. I'll click on add events and I'm going to click on from the picture. Okay. So I'm going to click on install code manually. Then I'm going to copy the code from here and go to the tag manager and paste it in the custom HTML section. Okay, perfect. And from the triggering section, I'm going to click on all pages. Okay, I'll click on save. So I'm going to click on preview for testing whether it is working or not. So for testing, I need to copy my website URL because I need to put it over here. Okay, then I'll click on connect. Then you can see over here tag assistant connected and if I go to the tag section then you can see over here FB base pixel custom HTML has fired one time. So this is how we can do it using custom HTML. Now I will show you how we can do it using a plugin. Okay. So for installing the plugin I will go to the template section. And from the tag template section, I'm going to click on search gallery. Okay. Just wait a little bit. Then I will search for Facebook pixel. This one, Facebook archive. So I'm going to click on this arrow. And I'll click on add to workspace and I'm going to click on add. Okay. Perfect. So this template has been installed. So I'll go to the tag section and I'm going to create a new tag. So I'll name the tag as Facebook base pixel. So I'm going to click on tag configuration and I'm going to choose Facebook pixel from here. Okay. Then what do you need to do? You need to put your pixel ID. So for getting the pixel ID, I'll click on settings. Just wait a little bit. So I'm going to click on settings again. Then you can see the pixel ID is available here. So I'm going to copy the ID from here and paste it over here. And as the event section, standard section, I'm going to choose space view. Okay. Perfect. Then in the triggering section, I'll be choosing all pages. So I'll click on save. Okay. Perfect. So for testing whether Facebook base pixel is working or not, I'm going to click on preview. I 
and click on continue so you can see tag assistant connected and if i go to the tag section you can see facebook pixel has fired one time that means uh, our facebook pixel uh, is working properly facebook based pixel in fact so yeah this is how we can uh, we can set up facebook based pixel using uh, custom html or uh, using template okay yeah that's it for this video hopefully you have liked our video if you like our video then you can subscribe our channel follow our page you have a good day bye bye